The truth about success is if you want to go ahead and get rich, you need to learn how to enjoy doing hard things. Now, I learned this like the hard way because when I was younger, I didn't want to go ahead and do the hard things. I was like pretty much lazy. I was like that Asian kid that essentially wanted to go ahead and just watch Pokemon all the time, Yu-Gi-Oh all the time, Dragon Ball Z all the time. I would find, you know, ways to go ahead and make sure that I didn't have to do a lot of effort. If my mom and dad told me I had to do chores, because super strict Filipino parents, I would actually get my sister to go ahead and do the chores. And my entire life, you know, it's just like, I just didn't want to go ahead and do the hard thing. I didn't want to go ahead and do the challenging thing. I didn't want to do the difficult thing, because why? It was hard. It was hard, or maybe I'm not good enough, or maybe what if I fail, right? And I had all of these fears when it came to doing things for the ultimate reason of, Oh, what if I fail? What if I look stupid? What if my friends and my family judge me? What if, you know, all my friends actually are right and I am weird or I'm a loser? And there was all of these like fears, right? So because of that, I just didn't want to try hard. I literally didn't want to try hard because I didn't want to go ahead and try hard, put all my in uh, and my energy into something and then just fail, right? Then as I started getting older, I realized that actually that was the worst thing to possibly do. And if I did want to go ahead and, you know, get into a relationship that I wanted because I was a freaking loser, I was shy, I was nervous, like no girls freaking liked me, I was insecure as hell, I had like social anxiety. If I wanted to make more money, which I never had any money, you know, I was like broke, parents came from the Philippines, super broke, had no money, broke, literally just over broke, living paycheck to paycheck, not actually even having confidence in my body, right, or if I wanted better health, I realized that I needed to start enjoy doing hard things and the thing that I realized about life is that every single beautiful thing that I've ever wanted out of life literally exists after suffering every single thing that I've ever wanted out of life I want a good relationship I want you know like money I want a good body I need to be able to overcome some type of suffering to go ahead and deserve it because if success was easy I mean we'd all be rich skinny and happy but we're not you look around people are not rich, they're not skinny, and they're not happy. And why is that? It's because we aren't really enjoying to do the hard things. In fact, we like doing the easy thing. We like eating the cake. We like, you know, watching the TV. We like opening the can of beer. We like watching Netflix. We don't like going to the gym. It's cold. I want to stay underneath the covers, right? Life and the decisions we make, we tend to go out and do the easy things. In my entire life, that's just what it is that I would do. Like, I would do this thing because why? Well, it's the easy thing. My parents told me to do it. My mom and dad told me to do it. Why do I have to go out and think? Well, why do I want to get this job? Well, it's easy because my parents told me this is what's good for me and society told me what's good for me. So it's like the less decisions that I had to make and the less willpower I had to exert, the more easy it was for me. But I didn't actually realize what are the long-term consequences of what happens if I go ahead and go the easy route, which is essentially the mental death route, which is essentially like the you're not actually thinking, you're not being conscious. You're just essentially like a slave mind stuck in the matrix where you're just literally listening to you know, your mom, your dad, or your teachers, or your friends, and just like a freaking mindless drone. Oh, I need to go ahead and get to school. I need to get good grades. I need to go ahead and get a job. I need to go ahead and climb up the corporate BS letter. Why? Because that is what the world is telling me to go ahead and do, and I cannot have one logical thought. And it was just easy to not even think. Why, 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 why didn't I actually think? Why didn't I actually think? Because I was afraid to. Which leads me to today's sponsor, which is the free training we have in the link below, which is the fastest and easiest way to make money online this year. If you've been stuck working a nine to five job for the past couple of years, and you're tired of climbing the same corporate bullshit ladder, then you must see this. This is by far the fastest and easiest way that I've ever made money online. And it's what allowed me to pay off $40,000 of debt in 10 months, retire my mom at an earlier age, as well as live in over 25 plus different countries by the time I was 29 years old. You could check it out in the free training in the link below. Now back to the video. I was afraid to, I was like, well, if I'm gonna have to make my own decisions and choose something else like an online business, I'm afraid of what if I'm gonna have to fail, then I'm gonna have to think, and I don't wanna actually have to think of failing. Why, because then I'm gonna have to think that actually maybe I'm not good enough, or maybe I'm a loser, or maybe I'm a failure, or maybe I never deserve success. And because I was afraid of actually accepting that those are my internal fears, I just thought, oh, the easy way is to not even just think at all. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just do exactly what society wants me to go ahead and do, right? And then obviously like one thing completely changed um, and it was sometimes it takes like a very, very big painful thing to happen into your life for you to actually start enjoying hard things. And I accidentally learned about this on accident because if you would have showed me a YouTube video, some Asian guy in somewhere in Asia just being like, oh, I enjoy doing hard things. I would have been like, that's freaking weird. Why would I want to go and do that? And that hard thing, that difficult thing, starting a business, talking to that girl, you know, going to the gym, that's freaking hard. And that pain was what I was running away from. That pain was what I was running away from. And my comfort zone was the pleasure I was like walking into, right? And that's how humans do when they make decisions. They run away from pain and they run away towards pleasure. But what they don't realize is if you do that for decades, you're gonna actually live an even bigger pain. And luckily, something bad freaking happened to me where I learned this the hard way. And what was that? Essentially what happened was my mom and my dad were threatening for divorce. I was like in college, we had no money. My dad calls me. He was like, Mike, can I borrow two grand? I barely had two grand. It took me years to save up two grand. He couldn't afford my college tuition for that month. He asked to borrow me money. And I realized, I'm like, what the heck am I doing? Here I am, not thinking, listening to the plan of everyone else around me. And now, it's like this thing that I worked so hard for, gone in an instant. My dad, who has a job as an engineer, he doesn't even have $2,000 to essentially go ahead and help me with my tuition. I realized, I'm like, no one around me knows what they're doing. I love my mom, I love my dad, I love my friends, I love my family, but it's like everyone else around me, that they weren't actually logically thinking. And I started realizing, I'm like, is, is the path for dentistry actually for me? And it was hard because like my friends and my family said, this is the answer. My girlfriend at the time was like, this is the answer. And here I was laying on the ground realizing, well, maybe I don't have the money to go, to go for dentistry if my parents don't. Maybe this is gonna cause me in more debt in the future. Maybe this is gonna cause me to fight with my wife in the future. Maybe I won't have time for my kids because I'll constantly be stressed trying to pay off the debt. I started realizing, I was like, maybe this dentistry thing is not for me. And I left. And when I left the path of dentistry, that was the hardest thing because immediately I lost all my friends, I saw my family, I lost my social network. Everyone thought I was crazy. It was for the first time I learned that I was truly alone that no one was gonna save me, that no one's gonna come in and magically swing down from the universe and be like, this is success. It was the first time that I experienced a bigger pain, more so than the pain of doing hard things. And I started realizing in sheer reality, okay, well, if this is my life and it sucks freaking so bad, you know, talking to that girl doesn't even seem that difficult anymore compared to the pain that I felt. Starting that online business and failing and losing money doesn't feel as bad anymore compared to being half a million in debt and fighting with my wife and not having time with my kids if I would have pursued the path of dentistry. Going to the gym when it's cold doesn't even seem like it's so difficult anymore. And out of nowhere, I started enjoying the hard things that would actually create me success. Because what is easy right now will turn into a very difficult life later on. What is hard now, difficult right now, going to the gym, talking to that girl, Starting that business, what's hard now, failing, losing money, becomes easier later on. And that mental model is now how I literally go ahead and understand every single aspect of life. Because I know that most people, they're gonna wanna do the easy thing. They're gonna wanna reach for that beer. They're gonna wanna turn on that Netflix. They're gonna wake up later. They wanna sleep later. They wanna go to the bars. They wanna go to the clubs. And if that's what's easy now, I know that my future, if I were to go ahead and do that, would be filled with depression. I'd be overly obese. I would have no success. I'd be stuck working for the job for the rest of my life, climbing the BS ladder. It's not the life that I want to live. But because I felt a pain and a suffering of losing all my friends, losing all my family, I started realizing that the hardships aren't even that bad. And the reason why I'm telling you this right now is I don't want you to wait until something bad freaking happens for you to go ahead and be motivated to change. I don't want your wife to leave you and then you realizing, oh, maybe I should have focused on my finances. I don't want your kids to not want to visit you when you're essentially a grandparent because you had no time with them as they were a kid because you were spending all of your time at your freaking job. And now you realizing, oh, actually, I wish I should have spent more time with my kids. I don't want you to wait until you're 50, 60, 100 pounds overweight, 60, 70 years old, realizing I don't even recognize myself. I don't even understand where my body came from. I wish I could go back in time because that, that is literally all of our reality. Like if we don't change, 
if we don't enjoy doing the hard things right now, if we don't choose doing the difficult things right now. And one thing that I'm literally just hoping that you take from this video is there is a hard thing, a difficult thing, that you are not doing right now because it's hard. Starting that business, telling that person you like them, having a better communication with your spouse, with your lover, being there for your kids, starting an online business, going to the freaking gym. Stop procrastinating and start doing what you knew you put on this earth to go out and do.